Well, a police standoff ends with the suspect transported to the hospital with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. You can see this is where the bus, that tour bus, ended up I'm about 150 yards away from where the big rig crashed just behind me. Take a look at these tire tracks here. And of course, you know, they got some of the windows open here. I don't know, Jeff, you want to show that really quick? We begin with a tense situation going on in Coachella today. Reports of shots fired, deputies arrived to the scene. Yeah, Janet, police were here all afternoon on Grapefruit Boulevard and 5th Street. What we're learning now is that two people were detained. Now, what we know about what happened is that police responded to calls of possible shots fired around 1245 this afternoon. The coroner has confirmed. The body found on a local trail is the hiker search teams were looking for earlier today. I'm here at Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Palm Desert where the funeral services for Mrs. Sinatra will begin at 2 p.m. It is open to the public. The uh, casket is making, making its way inside the church uh, where the uh, funeral services for Mrs. Sinatra will be beginning here at 2 p.m. Good evening, Gino. This structure fire started around 2 o'clock this afternoon on the 80,000th block of Avenue 43. Firefighters say it all started from this trailer you see behind me. Take a look. Everything in this backyard is charred. Look how it just crumbled, this trailer, almost like a soda can. Oh my goodness, Mike. We are in white water where the wind is literally blowing us away. A couple of moments ago, uh, it pushed me back to the point that I have one foot in front of the other, and I want you to take a look at the windmills right now. They are just going, and this has been the theme of the day. And as you can see here, hopefully you can hear this wind. It's very loud out here, and of course, it is very, very powerful. As you can see, again, I almost fell over right there. Kitty. You know, we were driving out here, and this is already, this 100-mile stretch of road is already very dangerous, but all of a sudden, we started getting warnings on our phone, urging us that there was a flash flood warning, and all of a sudden, here it came. It just started pouring wind and rain, like something I haven't seen in a long time. And I, myself, am a salsa dancer, so I will be jumping in on the fun. Brought my dance shoes here, so you can bet I'm gonna be busting a move. We're gonna go inside. They're having a little cocktail party before the dancing really kicks off. Let's see if I can find myself a dancer to dance with. Janet, we're actually on the strip where police believe the double stabbing happened. Now, they're also saying that one of those victims walked down to this parking lot where they say a good Samaritan saw them, picked them up, and drove them to the hospital. Now, they're saying the second victim walked right this way to the corner of Sunrise Way and Ramon Road where an ambulance picked them up, drove them to the hospital. Now, both of them are in serious condition. Yeah, Janet, if you haven't been here already to the Mirage Mirror House to see your reflection, you've probably seen photos of it online, and while it's all fun and games for visitors, this house may soon be going away. Then you're going to hit the feel a sponsor tent, and this is what I want you to do. When Gino's on, you're going to run up behind him and go, Mr. Lamont, Mr. Lamont. <laughs> do something just like that when he's on TV. <laughs> and stay tuned as I have security removed Ginger Jeffries. All that and more coming up live from the Indian Wells Tennis Garden. Riverside County Sheriff's Deputy Alicia Lopez has been waiting for this moment for almost two weeks. The moment she gets to hold little Matthew Castleberry for the first time after doctors put her kidney inside of him. Oh my goodness. But most of their daily tasks involve watching and waiting. Believe it or not, one of their most effective tools in stopping illegal crossings is not high tech. It's done with old tires being dragged behind an SUV. This makes it easy to see footprints. All techniques that we have inherited from, uh, the, from the Native Americans um, on how to track footprints on the ground. We detect the prints at the border, we follow it, we find the people. When it comes to boxing, I gotta do four rounds of jump rope. And then after the jungle, I gotta go in the ring shadow box for four rounds. Then after that, I go to the back for eight rounds. Then after the back, I go to the speed back for four rounds. The list goes on, and when Jacob's not training, he's helping his father maintain the club. A doctor at Desert Regional Medical Center says the number of pedestrians and bicyclists admitted for automobile accidents has increased nearly 60%, and that's just in the last four years. 
take a look at this evening. One of our photographers extraordinaire, Jeff, yes, capturing just the beauty of the Coachella Valley by evening, or at least as the sun is going down. As far as uh, this picture, Coachella Valley TV photog, Jeff Sargent took this picture. Of course, just kind of shows the weather story of the day. Not the case here. Beautiful shot coming in from our very own Jeff Sargent. A little more of that high cloud cover today. Wasn't a perfect bluebird sky like we saw yesterday. We want to take you to one of the most iconic views of the Coachella Valley. Yep, just up Highway 74, Vista Point. Doesn't get much better than that. Thanks, Jeff, so much for getting that beautiful picture for us.